Hey everybody, I'm here to speak with you today about something that I think actually may be one of my most important messages that you will ever receive from me. And that is that I have been feeling these last couple of days new life brewing inside of me. And as I'm recognizing this energy and how it's moving and circulating and becoming, I'm very much aware that this may be happening for you too, but you might not be as aware of it as I am. And that's not to diminish you in any way. But one thing that I've come to know is that I have, through the years, developed such a sensitivity to energy that it literally is like reading a book for me. I feel the energy, I sense the energy, I start to get images associated with the energy, I start to feel the energy going in a particular pattern um, into a particular frequency. So here's what happened with me yesterday. Yesterday, as you know, um, was February 1st. And I had every intention actually of creating a video for you then. But every time I sat down to do it, just wasn't feeling right. So I kept putting it off, putting it off and thinking, well, maybe there's something brewing that I'm not aware of yet that I need to share with them. Well, of course, lo and behold, that is exactly what was happening. So yesterday when I had thought about sitting down and <clears throat> talking with you, I was thinking about, you know, just talking about this incredible month that we have ahead of us. February, as you know, albeit perhaps through Hallmark, has become the month of love. And this, you know, either excites you or it just, you know, puts you into a state of feeling less than perhaps unlovable, maybe frustrated, um, doubting yourself, doubting your value. It all depends on where you are and, of course, your past history. It determines how you go into this month. So that's what I was thinking about. But what happened yesterday was that I started to feel something new brewing within me. And it wasn't just, and I don't say this lightly, it wasn't just about romantic love. It was all about me. It was about me actually creating a brand new life. And I started to wonder, where is this coming from? I love so much what I do. I love so much connecting with everyone and, of course, connecting with my heart and supporting people to come into theirs, to really know your heart. But I still could feel something brewing. And so I started to ask questions of myself. If I were to do something other than what I'm doing, what would it be? How would I want to be expressing myself? What would I want to be teaching? Who would I want to be teaching it to? How do I want to go about doing that? Well, what's so interesting is that I started to read about in the afternoon these energy shifts coming up on today, February 2nd. And the theme was all the same. Ooh, I just got God bumps. The theme is about new life. The theme is about stepping up, like actually stepping up and connecting deeper, more expansively with 
our heart and our soul's purpose. This whole message that I started to see repeatedly talking about today and what it was all about for us started to really make me realize, my God, we are really being called to up-level our lives. Because I can tell you, I felt this so strongly. I mean, imagine how strongly I was feeling it where it prevented me from getting in front of this camera and speaking with you. I knew I wasn't ready. I knew there was something else that I needed to talk about. And so I want to talk about these energies that I've been feeling. I'm being asked to up level. In fact, I'm going to just share with you that I almost feel like my whole body, my mind is up leveling to align more with my spirit. I can feel my vibrational frequency changing. And here's what's so interesting. As I'm feeling that, what I'm noticing about what's coming forward is this almost militant stand. It is, and I don't mean militant in terms of assault or aggression. I am feeling a brand new strength. And I'm going to use the word resolve. I am so clear. I am so clear about what we need to do. I am so clear about how we need to start living. And what I want you to know is that you are exactly in the right place at the right time if you are watching this. If you are here in this self-love and heart shifts group here on Facebook, you have already answered that call. But I want you to know you're about to experience self-love on steroids because I can feel it brewing. I can feel it taking over every single part of me. Now, as you know, I've been in this work for nearly 50 years. I started as a young, young woman, recognizing that we must start to live from our hearts because if we don't, we suffer in ways we don't even recognize. And we lead our own diminishment we actually live a diminished version of ourselves at our own doing. And I know we very often are, you know, pointing fingers and blaming others and trying to guilt others and all of that. But no, it comes from us. It comes from within us. And our inability or unwillingness at any given moment to be a true and authentic expression of ourselves. This is the call, because that's what self-love is all about. It's about cultivating the courage for you to be you, regardless of how others may react, regardless of how you may disappoint others, regardless of how you may... Mm not live up to their expectations in any way. And what I want you to know today is that that's actually your job. Your job is to disappoint them. Your job is to fall short of their expectations and instead to rise into your own I want you to know that I had a conversation with someone very near and dear to me quite recently. And that person was telling me that I had disappointed them. And I remember the power surging through me where without hesitation, I said, I am not here to live up to your expectations. And the shock on their face and I followed it 
up with saying, I am a different person than you have ever known me to be. I am who I am meant to be. So that has been percolating, of course. And so what I started to feel yesterday was this call to commit, to commit to living a brand new life, to creating a brand new life based on this new version of me. And so I want you to know that I will continue to disappoint others. I will continue to not live up to their expectations because I am taking myself and my life to a brand new level of becoming serious about how I express myself and what I'm here to teach. And I have an unwavering clarity and resolve. Now, what does it take to become <clears throat> the authentic version of you, the true you? It takes your willingness to look at you and accept you and accept that you are far more powerful than anything you've been living. It takes a willingness for you to pivot regardless of how you've been living your life. And I'll be sharing a lot of stories with you about my pivots. They're incredible when I think about them. But the message I think that is so important here is that we have got to create this willingness and the courage to step away from whatever we have been living and to pivot towards what we are here to create as a true extension of the divine, the God energy within us as the creative force in this world. I don't need to tell you that you will be asked to let go of things that have prevented you from doing this before. You may be scared. I will be here. I'll be here to hold your hand and more importantly, to hold your heart and to help you to cultivate that courage. And I'm here with you because I have lived every single step along the way of my own embrace of my authentic being and I will not back down and I'm here. To love you, to guide you, to see you, to hear you, and of course to know you and reflect all of that back to you so that you may know yourself as the most incredible, powerful being. You as the creator of all universes within you. And so we're going to be going through this process of letting go together. Of course we have to let go. But you're going to be so surprised at what it is that you actually have to let go of. And so I'm here today to make this vow to you that I will do my very best to be the epitome of all that I am and to share it with you, the hopes of inspiring you, perhaps even to light a fire under you and to embrace you, to blanket you with my love that has been set free because I've done all those things that I talk about. So much love to you. I'll speak with you again soon. And 
I look forward to hearing from you. I want to hear what your challenges are. I want to hear where you're getting caught up. I want to hear about your fear. But I also want to hear about all the ways that you are expanding and stepping into you and how this new you is lighting a flame under the world around you. Okay, I'll see you soon. And of course, it will be in the world of self-love on steroids. So much love to you. Bye-bye.